Welcome to the next episode of the Lazy Guy's Guide to Cooking. Today we're going to do a recipe called Island Pork Tenderloin, but it's my Lazy Guy's version. The first time I had this, a chef friend of mine made it. It was absolutely to die for. So I got the recipe and I made it once. It took two to three hours of nonstop work in the kitchen. I was like, yeah, I'm done with that. So I put together my own version that's about five minutes to prepare the spice rub, put it all together. And in this case, instead of on the stove top, I'm doing it in a crock pot. So we take about five minutes, do the rub, throw it in a crock pot, let it go for six hours. We just come back at the end and make a few sides to go with it. Um, some tropical themed um, rice and, um, and then some uh, a vegetable. And we're good to go. So the total prep time is probably more like 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, not three hours. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our old friend, the crock pot. Okay, um, if you don't have one, you should get one. Um, you can get them pretty much anywhere, any department store, Walmart, you can get them for like 20 bucks these days. I do like the ones with the uh, locking lid so that if you're taking it to go to a party or something, um, you know, it won't be spilling in the car. Um, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, take a, we're gonna take our pork tenderloin. This is about a two and a half pound. Mine's frozen, that's okay. What I'll do is I'll buy it at the store, throw it in the freezer until I need it. When I'm ready, just pull it out. You can throw it in there frozen, trust me, it'll be fine. Okay, so our spice rub, we'll start with ground cumin. Um, now, as you've seen before, I don't measure anything. <laughs> um, technically, if you really like to measure, it should be about one to two tablespoons, maybe about two tablespoons. Um, but I just sort of just sprinkle it all on. Okay, so we have our ground cumin. Then we'll do some cinnamon. This starts to give it the cinnamon and we'll also uh, do some pineapple after that helps give it that tropical island flavor. Um, then we have chili powder. Give it a little kick, a little spice. Um, we put in a little bit of a little bit of salt. I usually just use a little fine sea salt, but you can use just regular common table salt. Okay, not too much, just a little bit. Um, put a little black pepper, crushed pepper. Personally, I do a little bit less on that. All right, that's fine. And some brown sugar, just sweeten it up a little bit, and. As I talked about in one of my other videos, uh, Domino's has this pourable brown sugar that just makes it easy and quick. Um, and then we're done. Then all I'll do is I'll usually just pick up whatever left fell on the bottom here, give it a good, you know, just rub it all in. And now that we have put the spice rub on the pork and put it into the crock pot, I've taken a, a six ounce can of pineapple juice. We'll pour that in the bottom. So those are the juices that it will cook in. Adds more sweetness and gives it a little bit of that tropical feel. So now I have a can of crushed pineapple that I'm going to use later to add to the rice to kind of kick it up a notch. But we can put some of the pineapple, not too much, but a little bit of the, of the crushed pineapple over the top of the pork tenderloin. Just a little bit. Now what we do is plug in the crock pot, put it on high, and let it go for about six hours. All right, the entire house smells amazing from this pork tenderloin. So it is ready. It's been about six hours. I've been letting it go. Um, and I came down, poked with a fork. I mean, I went to flip it over, and it just fell apart. So the pork tenderloin is ready. And so now I'm just sauteing some asparagus in a pan with a little bit of butter, getting that ready and making the white rice. Okay, so at this point, the pork is done, the asparagus is done, the 10 minute white rice is done, the success rice is indeed a success. And now what we're gonna do is put some crunched pineapple in, and just more than enough, and just then just mix it up. Give the white rice just a little bit of that tropical flair. And then now we'll plate it and eat. 
Now, if you happen to be serving the island pork tenderloin to guests, and you want a little drink to go along with it to continue that tropical theme, you can put ice and an eight ounce can of pineapple juice in a shaker, fill it the rest of the way up with vanilla vodka, shake it up, put it in a glass, and then just finish it off with a little bit of grenadine down the side. It'll settle at the bottom. And with, this is called a pineapple upside down martini. Enjoy. For a full list of ingredients and directions, you can visit our website at lazyguycooking.com.